if I could only use one of these bags for the rest of my life. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it is the long-awaited bag comparison video between the Lueve Flamenco bag and the Chanel Small 22 bag. So if you guys are interested to see a bag comparison, then just keep watching. So how I normally do these comparison videos, I always start with just a general overview for those of you that haven't had the opportunity to see either of these bags in person, just so you can kind of visualize it, I guess you can say. So this is the small size of the 22. I'm sorry for my ring light. You guys can see that the quilts on this are stitched on right over here. You do have the Chanel hardware right over here. This bag does come with a little coin medallion. And then this is intertwined with the leather and just the normal Chanel CC chain. And this is the bottom of the Chanel 22. You just see this singular seam right here. So technically this bag would be really good for travel because you can make it as flat as possible like this. The inside of this bag is lined with fabric and it's kind of like a two-tone. And then there is a sort of button magnetic closure so you guys can see the inside of that and then this is the other side and then you also do have the new updated microchip right over here ironically my chanel 22 is stuffed with Lueve tissue paper and then the chanel 22 also does come with an additional pouch as well and it is detachable and then there is a zipper pocket on the inside as well my chanel 22 was made in italy just for reference and this is made with calf skin. And then here is the flamenco. This is in the regular size. So it does have these cute little knots on both sides to pull it together, which I will show you in a second. Only branding on this bag right here is this, which I love and adore. I'm actually not a huge fan of the new Lueve in the gold. It's just not me. I just love this little embossed anagram. So the closure on this is a magnetic closure as well at the top. The inside of this, instead of fabric, it is lined with suede as well. This does come with an adjustable strap that you can remove the strap actually extremely easily it's just like this so just for visuals you just pull it apart like that and then you can just put it back in so you can make it shorter or longer so the other side of the strap does have the adjustable poles there's about three settings right over here so you can make it slightly shorter slightly longer i like to have mine on the middle settings for myself and i am 5'3 for reference so there's no other hardware pieces other than the d rings on the back are the only sets of hardware right over here and then the base of the bag is actually pretty similar to the 22 where it's just this one line of stitching of the leather being stitched together and then you have just like this edge right over here and then same thing on this side and i do right now have a little fox charm on mine so just a little overview the chanel 22 bag of course it's called the 22 bag because virginie came out with this bag in 2022 so 2022 of course whereas the flamenco actually originally came out in 1970 1970 around there and then in 2010 it got reprised by stewart Ooh, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Viviers, the then creative director of Lueve, except the old version of the Lueve Flamenco actually had tassels at the end. And when Jonathan Anderson reinvented the flamenco, he's the one that put like these cute little knots on it. So Lueve has been around actually for a while. I feel like just in the last two years, it got even more popular because I wasn't a fan of the flamenco bag before. Actually, ironically, really quick, is that both of these bags, when I first saw the flamenco and when the Chanel 22 launched, I actually wasn't a fan of either of these. I wouldn't say I hated them, but I just didn't really see the appeal. And now I have both, which is really ironic. So let's just talk about sizes and price points really quick. So the flamenco bag does come in four different sizes. It comes in the mini size, which I definitely do want to buy. The regular size is just called the flamenco. A lot of you guys comment on my videos when I feature this and ask me which size this is, but it's not even called medium flamenco. If you type on the website, it's literally just the regular flamenco and then there's the large size and then the extra large size so i want to get either the large or the extra large in the future for travel essentially i want to buy all of the sizes <laughs> and have them in my possession and then with the chanel 22 bag there is also four sizes except it's a little bit different so they have the mini size especially in that rose gold that was super popular but i feel 
like right now the popular seasonal pieces for the mini chanel 22s are kind of the monochromatic where the hardware is actually the same color it's like gray on gray or pink on pink and the mini sizes are five thousand dollars which is so expensive for a mini bag and then the small size which is the one that i have which is five thousand five hundred and before i bought this unfortunately i think this bag used to be like fifty one hundred and it got a $400 price increase in the springtime so I think like two months before I purchased this one they had a price increase and then they have it in the regular size which is the original size that it came out and this is $6,400 and then of course the backpack is the biggest one but the backpack is the same price as the small what I noticed really quick is that the backpack version of this bag I think if you go on fashion fall at least the Chanel 22 backpack is the one that most people sell and I feel like the small size is is currently the most popular and then the mini size is the second most popular i remember when i first saw jenny have the chanel 22 in white as a backpack and then that's when i really was like oh maybe i should get the backpack instead but i just have so many backpacks so i just decided against it okay so now i'm going to talk about the major differences between both of these bags and what you're looking for so the regular size flamenco and the small chanel 22 the first thing you're gonna notice off the bat is the logo so this is i would guess you would deem it last because it has the Chanel logo right over here if you take this away then maybe not so much you can still know that it's Chanel because of the quilting and the train but this is very loud whereas this is very understated like my best friend has no idea what Lueve is and she has no idea what a flamenco pouch is so if you're not into luxury things which a lot of people aren't this is very like under the radar low key the only little logo is right here and it's embossed as well i feel like it would be cute side note if they added hardware as the stamp you know how lv and celine does their little mini triumph logos like on the basance bag if they had like a mini metallic anagram i think that would be really cute another major difference between these two is that this one is significantly heavier of course because of the chain and the medallion as well obviously the interior lining on both both of these this is essentially a hundred percent leather because it has the nappa calfskin on the outside which is so buttery soft and this is the shiny calfskin so it's essentially glazed and this is lined with suede whereas this is lined with fabric so some people really don't like fabric linings i feel like it's a hit or miss depending on how you feel but then other people don't like suede linings because it's harder to clean so to each their own between these two bags i definitely feel like the flamenco is way way more versatile because once so you can wear this as a shoulder bag for my body type i mean i could crossbody this bag i could I just don't do it just for reference. So if any of you guys crossbody your flamenco bags, totally let me know down in the comments. It'd be super interesting. I just prefer to wear this as a shoulder bag. Why I say this bag is super versatile. You pull this leather tab right over here. I mean, you could technically pull this one or this one, but my essay says to do it correctly, you pull the longer straps to go like this. So then the little knots can act as like decorative little side bits and then you have these cute little handles so when i first saw the flamenco bag ever i honestly thought holding this bag with these like tiny little straps i thought it was so impractical not user friendly i thought to myself i'm never gonna wear it like this and then i went to japan and i kid you not i actually held this bag like this more than wearing it as a strap because the strap is very thin and i did have so much stuff in here because when you're traveling you need to make sure you have everything like your camera a water bone all that stuff and i just felt like the strap was a little bit too thin to carry as a shoulder strap when it's filled if you don't really carry that much as a shoulder strap super comfortable but when you do feel this more it does get a little bit not even just uncomfortable more like it's not that i think it's gonna rip it's just i don't know how to describe it another thing that's my favorite thing about the flamenco is that you can add different straps to this so obviously you can remove this strap super easily and you can add their donut chain straps which 100 percent grew on me originally i wasn't a big fan of just like the circle circle donut chain straps and now i'm obsessed and i definitely definitely made Maybe during Christmas time, I want to buy myself the donut chain straps to add to this because I actually really, really like the way it looks. I feel like it's the classier version of the chain that was on the Bottega Veneta that was kind of really like gaudy and just very overwhelming. Whereas the donut chain strap, I kid you not, when you wear it just like this, it looks more on the casual side. But then if you take this strap away and then you add a donut chain strap, it looks so 
much more elevated and elegant i feel like i can wear it to dinner but if you're not a fan of the thinner strap or the donut chain strap you can actually buy this one particular strap i'm gonna see if i have a picture of it but the last time i went my essay and a lot of people actually do this it's kind of like this top handle i don't know exactly what it's called but it's like a leather top handle and they have it in different colors and you can attach that onto the little d grommets right over here just by changing the straps and the straps aren't even crazy expensive like dior straps are over a thousand dollars where louis Vuitton straps are around like four hundred dollars or less so you're changing the bag completely and it's not too expensive this one has a lot of options and you can decorate it too like look at these little charms that louis has which is wonderful whereas the chanel 22 this is pretty much it i would say the only difference that people do is what you see a lot at least and even the essays tell you a lot of people i guess like to wear it as just on one strap i really don't understand it to be honest why it's so popular to just wear it on one side and i guess the only thing that you can change at least again this is what my essay told me is that you just so there's two buttons right here i don't know if i mentioned that earlier and if you button it that's when people just carry it on one strap i guess this is kind of trying to make it look like the mini version because it has that little decor i guess you can say but generally speaking i like to wear it with two straps some people on forums say that when you fill this bag more the chain gets kind of uncomfortable for me it doesn't because i feel like it's more reinforced because there's two straps so the weight isn't all just on one whereas the flamenco when you have the weight is just on this one thin strap and i feel like this is more reinforced because the straps are on the tops right over here like all around it so if you're the type of person that likes to fill your bags to the brim i either would recommend you to get the large or extra large because the straps are thicker so that one would be way better for travel and way more comfortable if you're just like a big bag gal whereas if you're leaning towards this size or getting the 22 bag and you really like to stuff your bags i definitely would actually recommend this one just because it's more reinforced the fact that there's two straps and i don't i don't know why like when this is really heavy it's a lot more comfortable for me personally but that's just that so another major difference like some people really like like the small little details so like i said before is that this bag does have a zipper pocket in the back and then this one does come with a pouch whereas this one is literally just kind of an empty vortex there's no zipper pouch at all but the price difference is very big i swear that i'm trying my best you tell me the stress shouldn't be friend wonder where i'll end up next on the corner of hope so hold my hands out for a minute i'll let you know when to let go you give a little love with a little sun everywhere you go everywhere you run in you never say a word even when it hurts everywhere you go everywhere you smile pros and cons of both of these bags just in a general sense okay so we're gonna start with the flamenco the number one pro about the flamenco for me is how versatile it is i love 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 that i could change up this bag i love that i can add different straps but most importantly i love that it could be a shoulder bag or it could just be a little clutch or it could be a little top handle bag i kid you not how surprised i am how much i love this bag as a top handle it just looks like a cute little dumpling the second pro about this bag is definitely how soft the leather is i definitely love touching the napa calfskin on this over the shiny calfskin on this like if we're talking about just leather i adore 
adore how this feels the third major pro about this bag is that they do have this in a lot of different colors and a lot of different sizes so you can kind of get one for everyone like the smaller size the bigger size even with the price increase i still want to add two more to my collection so that's when you know i really do like this bag now we're gonna do the top three pros about this one for me personally i love the details of this bag like i love the hardware in the front and i love the little chain medallion and i love that it comes with two straps I mean again, I it's not a make or break But it is a really nice detail that it does come with a little removable pouch I think that's really awesome The second pro about this as well is they do have this in a lot of different sizes and colors One of my favorite renditions of the chanel 22 is the rainbow tweed chanel like I Love that one so much. I hope they come out with another iteration of that. That would be lovely Maybe just like a different base color but still have the rainbow tweed which would be superb or maybe in like pastel rainbow tweed like different shades of rainbow which would be really cool i guess the third pro about this bag is that it's chanel i know that sounds really materialistic but come on these are handbags <laughs> but like who doesn't love chanel like you just feel some different type of way when you have a chanel bag it's just even just having a small chanel slg it just makes you feel happy and different and i can't explain any other feeling other than like oh but it's chanel it's not a real pro but it kind of is, if you understand me. Mm -hmm. Another pro that I would like to add about this, just because I know some people think this way, because I also think this way. The Chanel 22, I would say an additional pro is the fact that so many celebrities endorse this bag. Of course, this bag I'm sure was gifted to a lot of people like Lily Rose Depp, Kristen Stewart, uh, Jenny Kim. So a lot of people like to emulate celebrities and I am one of those people. So for example, Jenny Kim does have this small white one. If you got, I think it was on a vogue what's in my bag video or something like that i'll link it down below if you have no idea what i'm talking about but this one is seen more out i feel like i read an article somewhere that gen z really likes this bag or just the gen z generation whereas i feel like because Loewe is an older brand even though it's super popular this past year i think Loewe was voted like the number one brand in 2023 still you don't see as many younger people like a 20 year old girl wanting the Louis flamenco whereas you could see like a 21 year old girl wanting the chanel 22 because it's everywhere on social media if following the masses is something that you like to do which is not a negative thing because i do that okay that's just another point to take into consideration or if you would rather have a bag that not many people have or know about this is the pro about the Lueve Flamenco because I would say it is more special at least in America I would say it's more special so it depends what kind of life you want to live a bag that everybody knows about or a bag that not too many people know about okay so now to the cons honestly I feel like the only major con for me about this bag is because this leather is so soft so like I told you guys I did pack this with me to Japan so this was going in and out of my luggage constantly and I purchased so much stuff in Japan so my luggage was very very full so I basically had it laid flat like this and I actually still do have some creases do you see with the lighting right here there's this one crease right over here and a crease right over here I was a little bit sad there's this big one right over here I think it's because well one yes I did squish it in my luggage but it's also just because this leather is pretty soft I wouldn't say this leather is high maintenance at all I put this on different chairs like bus benches trains stuff like that and I have no stains on it genuinely I have no stains on it so it's not about that and it did sprinkle a little bit when I was in Japan as well no stains at all but it does crease a little bit I would say that's just kind of my only little con is that this isn't um what's the word i'm looking for like a throw around bag i mean i guess it could be a throw around bag but at the same time you just have to be weary that this can crease however i honestly believe that if i laid this flat in my luggage I don't think that would happen of course if you like hold it like really weirdly i'm sure it would crease as most just items in life do but i feel like the nature of the shiny calf skin i feel like it's more durable in terms of that like if i laid this extremely flat and then just put my clothes on top because the nature of this bag is kind of different you see this is really just super flat because the chain is on the the end bits whereas the flamenco the handles are in the middle i just feel like this is 
better for travel. I say in terms of packing, the Chanel 22 would be better because it really can just be so flat. But in terms of travel, you guys know a lot of people say you have to be weary about your surroundings. If you're carrying around this bag, people are gonna assume that you have money and maybe you could be a target. Whereas the Lueve Flamenco bag, because it's so low key, I don't feel like you'd be targeted as easily or as obviously as the Chanel 22. So obviously, this is very low key and this is very Chanel. So a con of this is that it is loud and it does kind of make noise. I personally don't mind when bags make noise. I know a lot of people have issues like with the Dior DJOY bag that the chain or the handle makes a lot of noise. I've seen so many people that sell their Lady Dior's because the handles make noise, which is crazy to me because for me, it's a very ASMR, the Dior handle specifically. Like I love the sound that the Dior handles make. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to add in this video, I didn't want to do a what fits just because both of these, you can already tell they're hobo bags. So you can just fill them to the brim as much as you like. But I thought I would do a little water bottle comparison. So I have a 1.5 liter water bottle. I have a one liter water bottle. And then I have a 500 milliliter water bottle. And then I have a tiny eight fluid ounces water bottle. So of course this water bottle fits in the flamenco super easily and comfortably and you could assume also that this one fits in this one comfortably and easily okay so eight fluid ounces you're good to go if you need just a little pick me up so then we have the 500 milliliter water bottle this fits perfectly it would even have enough room for your wallet and stuff like that and you can even button it closed same thing this water bottle 500 milliliters fits perfectly inside this one super comfortable great for travel next the bigger sizes we have the one liter water bottle so just to show you to stand it up a lot of people actually do like to keep their bags open so that is possible so you can actually still magnetic close the flamenco and then still have this one liter water bottle standing up if that's just something that you want to do so just again to show you the magnetic is closed and there's no pressure or anything like that so you still have room for everything else if you don't want to do it like that this actually does fit horizontally like this and i can comfortably close it and you can see like that now we're going to take the one liter water bottle have it standing up in the chanel 22 like this so you guys can see it's standing up and to see if you can close it as well and you totally can and then this is actually because the chanel 22 in the small size is a little bit higher so even if i fully close it the water bottle does not stick out and you could close it and it's right over here and then this bag actually does fit horizontally as well which is good to know just because we all need to stay hydrated and then lastly we have the 1.5 realistically <laughs> so it actually covers a good amount if you want to carry it like this you can because all the rest of your items would be on the bottom of the bag but it does stick out like this just for a frame of reference it does not fit completely horizontal if you want it to drop like this but if you want to have your water bottle diagonally it does actually fit i could close it and it could go like that again for visuals 1.5 liter water bottle no surprise to anyone i can't even close it like this and then obviously this does not fit going horizontal that's it for the what fits okay so the final verdict between these bags if i could only use one of these bags for the rest of my life so this is very important it's not in terms of keep because i feel like a lot of people would think oh i would just keep the chanel because it's chanel if both of these bags were in my collection and i had to use one for 365 days of my life straight i would personally pick the flamenco bag just because i like that it's low-key i like that i can wear this in different ways i would be very comfortable and confident traveling with this taking this everywhere when you're a passenger princess i feel comfortable putting this on the floor it's not because i don't care about this bag because i love this bag and i adore this bag but it's more i don't know there's just something very relaxing and comfortable about this whereas if i was using this bag and i was a passenger princess and i wanted to put it on the feet of the passenger area i would be weary that it would get dirty even if this bag was in gray or black i still would be like oh no i feel like there's just this weird preferential treatment 
treatment when I have a Chanel bag and I don't want to live 365 days of my life being weary of something like that. Do any of you guys own both of these? Which one do you guys prefer? I definitely use this one way more than this one. This one obviously I think is more stylish i guess more trendy because you have like the hardware and the medallion and stuff like that but i could wear this everywhere anytime everywhere grocery store the mall dinner and then when i add the chain i can go to like a fancy dinner i don't know this one you just have way more options and it's essentially half the price because this is now twenty five hundred dollars and yeah this is basically half the price you can get two flamencos for the price of one chanel so it's really truly up to you and i love 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 the new colors that they came out with let me know down in the comments if you guys own both or if you guys own one of these like if you guys own the chanel 22 is the flamenco on your radar or are they too similar to you see for me they're different enough that i justified having both of them and obviously i had the flamenco bag first before i got this one but i still truly truly love this bag i love this bag so much that i'm gonna reiterate it again i do want to get two more flamencos one in the mini and then one in the larger sizes for travel whereas the chanel 22 if i were to get another one it would more be because i would love to get like a denim or a fabric one but i don't plan on getting another leather one i feel like the white one in leather is enough for me because it's white i feel like i can't make it a grab and go whereas the denim one that i recently tried on in a shopping vlog oh my word it looks so good it looks so good and because it's denim and blue i feel like it's like the perfect neutral to match with so many things they actually just recently came out with these like silver and gold little flamenco pouches which i think is so spectacular they just dress up i feel like any situation i 10 out of 10 recommend going into the Louis store and trying on the new metallic ones like they're gorgeous i wish i got a picture of me wearing it but the worker told me to not take pictures so i couldn't Alrighty, guys so we've come to the end of today's video i hope you guys found that helpful if you guys have any additional questions between the two bags please feel free to leave them down below and i will answer them to the best of my abilities i hope that was helpful for any of you guys that are trying to decide between the two bags what are you guys leaning towards yeah let me know let me know as always if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps with my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys